and welcome back to the channel. A little bit different this video, Keith. We're sitting here at the uh, studio doing an in-studio video and I'm going to talk to my friend Keith. How are you doing, Keith? Pretty good, Mark. And today I wanted to talk to Keith about his, his I was going to say his new bike. Well, it was new to him, but now he's had it a while. That's why I want to talk to him. And that's the Aerial Rider Grizzly. So Keith's had the bike now for four and a half months. He got it back in June. It was a little bit of a surprise from his wife, Sierra. Her and I uh, secretly had this uh, deal going on. Where, it's a nice uh, surprise. <laughs> yeah, where Keith was going to obtain this bike. And uh, we surprised him. And we'll leave a link in the descriptions to show you uh, the bike, uh, uh, the uh, surprise video of uh, Keith getting the bike. And then his first ride. There's two videos. So uh, we'll do that coming up uh, in the descriptions if you want to check it out. So uh, I'm going to ask Keith a little bit about the bike and what he likes about it so far and is there anything he would change on it and then I'll give a little bit of what I think about the Aerial Rider Grizzly. So first of all Keith, you've had it now four and a half months. How do you like the bike? Uh, I love the bike. It's an awesome bike, has plenty of power, more power than I could ever ask for in a bike. Uh, ready to work, right at night time. I uh, don't really have too many complaints about it. I, I love it. Okay, so you've done some things to the bike, right, uh, cosmetically. So what have you changed on the bike to when I had the bike? Um, the only thing I really... Okay, the brake pads is one. I need brakes. And then I, I put a bigger headlight on there, brighter headlight and a better tail light. But other than that, it's pretty much the same way you've had it. Yeah, so um, for me, the few things that I found about the bike, especially after getting the Grizzly or the graffiti, I should say, the other yeah. graffiti, is that the handlebars, and people used to say, oh, those handlebars, but they're kind of like a little bit up, you know, like a chopper bike. And they're narrow, too. And they're narrow. And so I, after riding the um, Lyric graffiti with the BMX handlebars, I found that those handlebars were more comfortable for yes, me. Yes, they the, are. So that's one thing I did, you know, after looking back now that I didn't like as good on the... Uh, Grizzly, although at first I didn't mind it, maybe because I didn't know different. And then the other thing that I would uh, switch out or like to see different on the bike would be the seat. I'm not a big fan of that seat. Yeah, it's it's not as soft, and I think it's narrow. Like when you ride your Lyric, it's right. a little bit wider, and that little bit makes a big difference. Yes, and uh, the seat doesn't it isn't long enough. Uh, right. Even me, I'm only five foot nine. And Keith is definitely taller than me. You're closer to six feet, right? Uh, yeah. So, you know, if it's affecting me for feeling like you're sitting a little bit like this. Yeah, you're close. You know, and um, I think if you could go back, even myself, I'd like to sit back a good four inches or so, like quite a bit. And even the graffiti that I have has that little step up for the passenger rider. I'd rather have it smooth all the way across and no little uh, lift on it. Or right. Bump. But, um, you know, so you can sit just a little bit back farther. And then that gives whoever's riding it um, the ability to go forward or back, depending on your height. You know, whatever's comfortable for you. But So otherwise, though, as far as the ride goes, is it good for you, like, and all that? Yeah. Like, it's comfortable, fast? It's definitely fast. I mean, for, what, going up to about 30 miles an hour, it gets up there pretty pretty easy. Um Comfortable, like compared to like the Rad Rover, it's probably not as comfortable as that bike. It's definitely not as comfortable as your Lyric. And that might be because of the tires, which you put the right the Huntsman tires on there. Yeah, so there's only a couple of things that I did to the graffiti or to the Grizzly. I get the graffiti and Grizzly mixed up here. But I put bar and mirror on it, which you still have on there. And then the tires have been changed out for the V Huntsman. Um, the original stock tires that come on the bike are crappy. Let me tell you, they're not very good at all. I think I got between 700 and 750 miles, and that's it. And the tires wore down really quick. They give you super thin, crappy tires. So that's one thing to know if you're going to purchase the bike, um, is to expect very shortly after getting it to have to replace the tires. And the, the bike is just so torquey. I, I bet that's why it just wore them down real fast. And then Now, these e-huntsmen are... The, the tires are lasting for a very long time, but I wonder if the traction is not the same. It's probably not as good as 
Well, they're, see, they're the thing is, soft. though, is the back tire, okay, the front tire, you get the spinning of the wheel, right? Right. So you, get, you can have spin outs and... And the back tire is where all your weight is. So that's the tire that's apt to go usually first. But, you know, the other thing, I just thought about one more thing about the Grizzly. That, and this doesn't just apply, apply to the Grizzly. It also applies to any bike that's dual motor. I find with the front motor in the front wheel, it makes the front a little heavier for turning. Do you, okay. find, do you notice that? I mean, I don't... I'm, it, it might a little bit, but I really it doesn't bother me. I, like I don't notice it. No, I think you get used to it, especially if that's your only bike that you ride. But yeah, if I'm you probably ride used multiple bikes, then you go back and forth, and you feel the differences more. You know. Okay. Yeah. But okay. So, what if you had an opportunity to change anything yourself right now on your bike from what it is? What would you change on it? Well, obviously, you know, I changed the headlight. Which it definitely needed a brighter headlight, and it could uh, tail light. You know the you know the stock tail light right. wasn't very bright. Right. Um, other than that, I I do think the brakes could be a little bit better. It could definitely use the regen brakes. Oh yeah, if you had a if you had a uh, uh, the motor wasn't a geared uh, motor, you could get a gearless motor. But who wants to go through all that, right? You just you know you buy the bike for thousands of dollars, and you expect it to be ready to go. Right. I'm not one that's big on having to modify the big things. I think more cosmetically, you're going to do stuff like add mirrors or horns or things like that. But who wants to start ripping apart motors? You know, like if you're just going to want a frame, you may as well go ahead and buy a frame. I don't think I'd want to buy a bike and rip everything apart on it. Right. You know, if it's not the bike for you, then I think I would just uh, save my money and go somewhere else and buy one that's ready to go. That's why for me, the Graffiti X is about as perfect for me as what I'm looking for. Yeah. And I just have to get the bike and prove um, by riding it and seeing what it's like that it can do just what I'm expecting it to do. But um, other than that, it's, it's, a, it's a minor complaint, but the brakes, it's hard to describe it. Like, you put the brake, they, they do stop you really, really well, but it feels like you have to squeeze them tighter than what it should be. I don't know, like how it's, it just... Doesn't feel as smooth as like at the Rad Rover, and I think even on your Lyric, it they feel a little bit better, don't you think? It's well, just see, not the thing with me and the Lyric. I never use the brake very yeah, rarely. Do I hit the hand regen. brakes? I use yeah, I use the regen braking. I'd say ninety percent of the time. Sometimes when we're out riding, especially going down a hill, and at the bottom of this big hill there'll be a stop sign, and you got to come to a stop. Well, the regen braking doesn't stop you like on a dime it's more of a gradual slow down and stop yeah so you have to sometimes use both and so i'm using regen and the handbrake when i'm going down a hill sometimes um but the regen braking the nice thing about that is that it gives you uh, a little bit of juice back in your battery which is a good thing too and you don't wear out your brake pads so yeah especially over here in this area there's a lot of hills and when you're going downhill that the bike is heavy so it it picks up speed going downhill so yeah. you're constantly on the brakes when you're going down. Right. So that regen you have to brake. Ride the brake. Yeah. 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 And I've never really that. checked to see how hot they get, but Yeah, I found the same thing when I had it going down. Like we have some monster hills here, basically mountains. And so you oftentimes if you're going down those, you have to basically ride your brakes. Yeah, you're on the brakes and you're you're pressing them pretty good. And you get used to the bike, right? For me, you know, after a while with the regen braking, I can I know how far ahead to start slowing down. Right. If I know a stop sign's coming and I'm familiar with the area, I know just where to start slowing it down and where you know everything. You got to get used to all that. Oh yeah. But um, you're right with the Grizzly there. It's it's a little tricky. You got to basically ride that brake. Um, you know, there's a there's some a lot of positives about that bike though. It's it's a monster. It's a it's a beast. It'll go up any hill basically that yeah. you throw at it. With the dual motor, just kick that second motor and, and off she goes. And the new bike today, though, the version three, because that version that Keith has that I had was the version two. So the version three now, they've changed a few things out on it. I think they put a better headlight now. I don't know how good it compares to like my uh, graffiti or my uh, graffiti, but still, I'm sure it's an improvement over the stock headlight. That was another thing I should have mentioned that I didn't like the headlight on it. But uh, they did that, and the, the down thing um, that I find with that bike is that the, uh, um, the, with the new one, is that they only give you 
one four amp charger yeah. for the battery. Whereas the one I had that I sold Keith here, uh, it comes with two five amp chargers. So you get a good charger to come with that bike. And that makes a difference. The Our thing charges, charges up in four hours. Yeah, you get to charge both batteries right at the same time. Yeah, that's... I mean, I get, you could probably buy the other one. Is that what they make you do? Yeah, buy? I guess you can buy it, but all that adds up to more. Yeah. So, and the bike now, the regular price is thirty four ninety nine. Although I did check, the bike is on sale right now for thirty ninety nine. Thirty ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, and I paid, when I bought it, I paid thirty two ninety nine full price. I didn't have no discounts, nothing. I paid full price, free shipping. But um, yeah, I would I would recommend the bike to somebody. But at thirty five hundred, I gotta say, I'd probably look around though. Yeah, especially but, nowadays, right? <laughs> yeah, but at thirty one hundred, it might still be worth it. But yeah, I would still look around now. I you know and and see what else is out there. I would do my my homework. It's not a bad bike. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you have more choices now. Even than when I bought that, there's a lot more choices of bike oh, yeah. out there now. When I bought my Rad Rover, the first ever bike was the Rad Rover 4. You you didn't have the choices of bike like you do today. So there's getting a lot more choices. And then like reliability on the bike. What, the bike's almost, what, three years old now since you got Two it? Two and a half. Two and a half. And it still gets a good range of 35 miles. Um, just what the only thing that's going on is, is the brakes. Yeah, and the brakes are good. That's going to happen to every, you know, every bike. And some people use the brakes harder than others. And depending on where you live, like we just spoke of, we've got mountains here, basically. And you're going to be using your brake a lot more than somebody else who's living oh, on yeah. a flat land. Um, so there is that. But other than that, I don't have any complaints about the bike. It, yeah, I would just say the seat, I mean, the headlight. And you've rectified the headlight and the taillight. So the seat. And what about the handlebars? Would you... Handlebars? So, yeah, they're not as wide and comfortable as like on the lyric but you know when you're like off-roading and some trails having those narrow handlebars do make yeah. a difference it, it is real easy to you yeah know, turn you can and... navigate easier but you're right there's there's pluses with that being narrower i can get it through the door you know if i'm bringing yeah. it in the house i can get it through the door <laughs> easier. True. whereas the wider handlebars are you know a little bit more tricky to stick handle around but yeah you're right there are advantages to it but i just think if you're going on long extended rides and your arms are up there um, you do feel kind of like cramped a little bit. And that might be because of the seat too. You and can't the seat. seat back That's right. Back. So I, I think the bike should come with a, a seat that goes all the way back, which they do sell the extended seat. I just never got it. You know what they could do on those? Is what if they, okay, you can't adjust the seat height up and down, but why don't they give you the option to pull the seat back a bit? If that you don't nice. have a rack on the back, which you don't have a rack on the back, I didn't have a rack on the back, like a, another ex, extra rack. Um, you, they should put holes to allow you to pull the seat back. Yeah, that would you be You know, nice. maybe uh, different sets of holes. That could be a, a something that would work, too. And then um, another thing about the handlebars, which I've you suggested this a while back, but I've never tried it. But you're saying that I could loosen them and kind of, like, move them forward yeah. or maybe back. That, yeah. that could probably help out. Yeah, that... that I would... should try to move them forward a little bit, but I'm I'm fine with the bike the way it is. But some people might have that problem, you know. And what about the battery? Like, the, it comes to the two batteries, right? The 15 and, and 20 amp hour, which is 35. Is that good enough for you, or? It is good enough for the situations that I ride it in now. Like, going to work is only five miles. Five miles there, five miles back, ten miles. Okay, so on it your gets, daily commute, it's perfect. Yeah, I can I can get there three times before that thing goes dead. Right. I mean, we've gone, what, 30, 35 miles on it, before, and it's still, you know, 10, yeah. 15 percent. And it, it depends, like. You know, the, the terrain you go on and, and how hard you ride it. You, you stay about 15, 20 miles an hour, right. which is the legal speed here. It will go for, you know, 35 miles easy. And so I'm, I'm happy with that. And that's, you know, two and a half years old now. Yeah. So I can't really complain about that. But, you know, you could always have a bigger battery. That, that would yeah. maybe 220 amp hour. I, mean, I was going to say, hour. yeah, it's funny how they made a 15 and a 20. Why not go with 220? Right, yeah. Uh, that would have been better. Um, or 225s. If you had 50 amp hour, I think you'd be pretty set. Um, I, I don't know. For me, it depends how much you're riding and how long a distance. I always go by the battery and as to how far I'm going to ride, right? You get used to the bike and you know what it can do, so you know the limits. But yeah, sometimes you feel like you get on there and you want to keep going, you know? But right. you got to also be cognizant of the battery and how much, how far you can get. But, but I would say 30 mile range is. No problem. Like I wouldn't even have range anxiety until 
you know, 30 miles, right? So we can easily go on a ride 15 miles, like to downtown Portland from here. And not really worry about running out of battery. Yeah, that's about a 30 mile ride. Yeah, you know, 30 miles. It can do 30 miles easy. And it depends what you're carrying with you, you know, how much weight, um, you know, and also the weather conditions. Like right now, if you're riding in the, it's we're cold, coming into yeah. winter, fall, you know how the rides have been and they're pretty cool in the morning. And if you're riding, that does the affect the battery. Yeah, and so you're going to get less range there too. So, and you're going to get a little less speed, a little more sluggish. The bike is going to be more sluggish. Um, but, yeah, so overall... Yeah, great bike. You know, a bike that does uh, in speeds of 20, 15 to 25 miles an hour, it, it's awesome. It's excellent. And, yeah, then it, it does 30, 35. It, now, the battery is getting a little bit older, so it used to go up to, like, 36 miles an hour, but now it's getting to, like, 33, 34 right. on a full charge. So, it, you know, it's not going to be normal age. So if you... Let's wrap up this with this one more question. Okay, you have... Let's say the bike is the full price, thirty four ninety nine. Would you okay. buy that? Uh, would you buy that new, or would you look around and see what's out there? I mean, depending on your budget, but like no, how much? Say thirty five hundred is your budget. Okay, right? let's say you have to pay thirty five hundred full price for the Grizzly. Would you buy that, or would you look around? Is there something else in mind that you would uh, be looking at? Um, I mean, besides the lyric. The graffiti, the original graffiti, like the one that you have now. Yeah, and you can't get that no more, so. So, well, then, yeah, I, I, no, I, as I far would as still me, get the, anyway. the Grizzly's still a great bike. I would for sure consider it. Yeah, but you'd probably look shop around a little bit. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I mean, depend, you know, it depends what kind of style bike you want. Like, yeah, that's called true. the Scrambler bike. This, this, It's a really fun bike to ride. That's another thing. It, it's, it's just. It's fun, like like I don't know how to, like is it a, it's probably a smaller frame. You think maybe maybe the, the smaller tires? These are like twenty six inch tires. Yeah. So these bikes, these, what they remind me of, and and I'll go back to the seventies here with this, but they remind me of a mini bike from the seventies. Yeah, the, or the uh, except for yeah. they're oversized. They're they're a blown up bigger yeah. mini bike. Uh, the frame is enlarged. That's they're, what I'd say. These are like, but they but they're nice. They're, they're a lot of fun to ride. It's, yeah. I mean, if you're yeah. if you're into the e-bikes, and yeah, and if you got on the Grizzly, you would definitely not be disappointed with it. I can tell you that. No. And just hold on, because oh, yeah. it definitely has some get up and go, for sure. That might be some, you know one thing they could add later is like maybe a an option to make it like a slower takeoff. That because it is very sensitive. Once you get it going, it, it it's really jerky and you feel that torque just kick in. Yeah. But once you go get going, it's pretty smooth. But that first initial takeoff, you're not ready for it. They'll catch you off guard, and, yeah. and that tire will slip, and you know you want to make sure you're you're straight. Well, right. I always suggest don't even turn on the front yeah. motor until you get going, and then turn it on. That's a good but way to do it. That's the first thing I noticed, uh, by the way, when I went from the graffiti or from the grizzly to the graffiti, how smooth this graffiti is. It may not have the takeoff speed quite of what the grizzly has. The grizzly just goes, you know. Yeah. But this bike is smooth. It just quietly gets up to speed, and when it gets up there, you know, you just you it just I don't know. It's just so smooth of a ride. Um, yeah, that's a very smooth bike. Yeah, so it's it's like riding a, a Cadillac for yep. you know, for, for a lack of better. I don't know. And that thing feels more like riding a motorcycle too. Yeah, it's, and it doesn't even have a rear suspension, so I can't wait to get the Graffiti X with the rear suspension. <laughs> All right. Well, in uh, wrapping this up, then right. Keith says, "Yeah, he likes the bike." Right. Yeah, definitely like the bike. So Two that's thumbs up. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we were able to uh, get it to an owner that really likes it and somebody who rides on the channel and we get to see the bike still. Yeah. So that's sure. pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining me, Keith. This has been our first uh, fun in-studio video. We'll have to do a few more of these. I'll just I'm sure Keith. we will. <laughs> I'll get Keith back in here for another go. He's not camera shy. That's good. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much again, Keith. All right, Mark. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, maybe you have comments about your uh, uh, Grizzly if you have one. Or if you have any questions about uh, the bike as far as uh, you wanting to buy one and don't know... Uh, you want have a question about the bike, just ask us and we'll uh, answer you in the comments. So once again, thank you for joining us on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.